Hey, I'm Chris Smith here at uh, Peabody City Hall for the uh, Farmer's Market every Tuesday from 1 to 6. We're going to go check out some stands here. Right, I'm here at the Somerville Bread Company with Nick Robertson. Have you come here before? No, this, is, this is my first day today, so uh, we're excited to be here. And tell many types of bread. Yes, we're starting out right now with that we have a country loaf, autumn wheat, and autumn wheat with fig. We also uh, sell uh, hand-rolled bagels. Are these made in Somerville? Yes, who maybe sometimes even a three-day process, so it's a timely process, but we're glad that we're stationed in Somerville to, to represent. Ceramic necklaces, some paintings, magnets. Is this your first time being here, or are you here it frequently? Is. It is my first time. Well, thanks, sir. Awesome. Awesome. Good market. <laughs> yeah, all right. We're selling a lot of jewelry here. I make everything myself. Really? I use all real gemstones, sterling silver, pearls. I'm a big fan of all this. Oh, thank you. Salem SalemStreetBeatery.com. Salem all right, well, if you're looking to accessorize stuff, I. So this is our corn mushroom chowder. I'll try that. All right. And then it's so creamy because we make it with a. Uh, Ooh. Coconut milk and coconut oil. And then now we have also our uh, vegan and gluten-free bootleg chili. And we have texturized vegetable protein in it, which acts as our meat substitute. Does it seem like there's meat in it, but there's not meat yeah, in it? Yeah, definitely. I fooled so many people with it. I'm um, gonna see if it, it tricks me appropriately. And it does. And this is the Soup Guy LLC. Teresa hand makes all these doll clothes for American Girl dolls. Teresa's mom hand crochets Oh, she, she makes all of those. She, but the aprons are for children. Those are not for dogs. The kids' those aprons, for play, kids aprons. Play kitchen. Play kitchen. Classic. The, uh, I do the t-shirts and the photo transfers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More distressed than others. Yeah, that's, um, it seems like it's part of the appeal. It's got a good look to it. And actually, Teresa has more than just uh, the clothing, the pillows, and the decor. She's got other home decor, women's accessories, mm -hmm. jewelry. Yeah. What do we got here? We got tomatoes, carrots. Radishes. Radishes. Boston butter lettuce. Mm -hmm. We have Swiss chard, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, our own honey. There's zucchini, summer squash, pickling cubes, green beans. beans all fresh. There'll be butter beans and corn. Grill like it up. I have to have cookouts. cookouts. Where's this all coming from? We grow in Andover, Hereford Valley Farm. You folks seem pretty pretty well established here. You've been here before? We've been or? here since the start. Oh, here's over some of the... Over 10 years ago. Oh, wow, all right. So <laughs> yeah. you're, you're established. Because they were on Railroad Ave before, and now... We moved over here. City Hall, yeah. Yeah, get a, get a better point of view with all the folks exactly. driving by I can see. Uh, we're based in Newburyport, Massachusetts, um, on Liberty Street. And we make gourmet popsicles. Uh, we make them all in our store. Uh, we have some dairy-based flavors and some non-dairy-based flavors. Through the flavors? Sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have raspberry, uh, lemonade, strawberry, root beer float, cookies and cream, uh, blue vanilla, blackberry lemonade, salted caramel and coconut, and watermelon cucumber. And that's, we have those today. Um, in our store, we have uh, several more. Personally, I'm in, I'm not like a fan of cucumber, but okay. the, the the cucumber, this watermelon cucumber intrigues me the most. I don't know what a flavor I should go for. <laughs> the salted caramel coconut. They got me. It is pretty amazing. So we're finishing up here at the farmer's market Tuesday, open one to six every week. And uh, I'm gonna finish this before it melts.